years man has dreamed to look upon such a planet, and here it is, in our very own Babysphere. <laughs> That was the art of Mr. Nikola Doslov in conjunction with the celestial body Jupiter. Mr. Nikola Doslov, you may know, has been the genius behind Renaissance book binding, which was the bindery that was on Brun's experience for many, many years. He is still book binding, but he's also creating incredible works of celestial glory, as you have just seen under the name of Jupiter Projections. He's available for wedding summits for his wakes. You name it, he does it. So, I suggest you come and have a chat with us slash him after the show if you're needing projection done, because he's your man. Very good. How about another big round of applause for Planet If that was the biggest, the biggest act you've ever seen, well, <laughs> I say to you this, I now present you with the best dressed. Yeah, hooray. <laughs> if you could all put your hands together for glycerin. <laughs> Genetics mostly. Um, <laughs> no, it's been, it's, been, it's been hard for me. It's been a, quite a, a tragic turn of events. My uh, husband left me on my wedding day. I was, uh, yes, I know. I was walking up the aisle in a dress uh, much like this one. It was this one, actually, it was this dress. And um, there was my betrothed at the altar. And he took one look at my chest hair <laughs> and ran away. <laughs> Shamed and embarrassed, I did the same. I ran into the woods where I now live. <laughs> uh, as, yeah, with the, the trees and the woods and the cold and the dark. Anyway, I play music, that's what I do. I play music. I play accordion, I play covers, I play sad accordion covers of <laughs> <laughs> pop songs. And I'm going to do that for you now.
next song is uh, about confusion. It's about love. It's about confusing love. It's about a question. Um, maybe we'll know the question when I play the song. <laughs>
watches over me at night Then there's plastic Jesus for sale in morning light And I can't say I'm not scared by the deities and the stairs For I know that I'll decay and the night's been broken in by the bird song and our sin, and the sheets like our souls are stained. visual representation of a song of mine. Um, and so she spent so long painting it all this week. <laughs> I have photographed of her evidence at five in the morning when she was finishing this like this morning. So she's um yeah I'm, I'm, it's absolutely beautiful and I can't uh, it's, it's such a beautiful collaboration and it's really um yeah I can't express how magical it is that it's effective. Yeah. Um, so this is a song about a place um called The End of the World in New Orleans, which is where uh, a jetty reaches out to the end of the Mississippi River. And there was one morning I was there in the mist, and um, we were looking for something that we left at the end of the world. <laughs> and um, it, was, it was completely shrouded in mist, and we were looking for alligators as well. And my friend was playing the trumpet through it all. And um, yeah, so this is a song about a man I met in New Orleans who could uh, tame the crows and call them home to like this huge tree, he could do their like emergency cry and the whole tree would like cover themselves in crows and they would all like fly all of a sudden, so I wrote that song. So. Um, Beach 
pianos grown and the stairs made of melted books a canopy of ivy where the ceiling let go we sing ooh, 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 ooh. trumpet like a ship song in the early morning heat. There's a man I know who's tame. The crows call them home to the black trees by the Mississippi down Introducing The Albatross, a poem by Baudelaire <coughs> from his collection The Flowers of Eva. <laughs>
entertain themselves. The men of the crew lure upon deck an unlucky albatross. One of those vast birds of the sea that follow unwearied the voyage through, flying in slow, elegant circles above the mast. Great wings hang like heavy, useless oars. How droll is the poor floundering creature, how limp and weak. He, but a moment earlier, so lordly, flying in state.
is that wild inheriting of the clouds. Above the range of slings and arrows. Exiled of the earth, at bay amid the jeering crowd.
extremely unlikely, if not impossible. Now, we at the carnival, we always have a lot of fun, which I can say categorically, as this is our first one and we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's okay to speak in absolutisms. Now what I will say is that if you have enjoyed tonight, there are other events that you may enjoy, as well as future carnivals that you may enjoy just as much, that will be up, up and coming on the horizon. All you have to do is keep an eye on the Hungry Dust Palace page on Facebook, and then all of the events that your heart could ever want will be there. <laughs> In the meantime, I have just one little thing that I'd like to play for you. <laughs> when you meet again, don't know where, don't know where. Sunny day, <laughs> we'll keep smiling through, just like you always do, until the blue skies drive the dark 
hides her face and makes her bleed, but she does it for you because she loves you, and that's what art is. Um, we have our incredible cranky lady, Sinead, as cranky as they come. We have 
of course, straight from Hollywood, Mr. Senator Fraser Anning Ashman. <laughs> Yeah. 